Oh yeah, YouTube. Uh, excuse the chaos. <laughs> right again here, Sunday. But not too bad. We've uh, sorted out this shelf up here, and uh, we strengthened it as well. We took off the. There was a four foot fluorescent fitting under there, and I took it off, and I had this piece of box section, so that's bolted the whole way along. And uh, we redone the chains because uh, I didn't actually notice, I suppose I should have, when I started putting the wood off the, the pallets up there, uh, it started to pull the screws completely out. So uh, we have them, <sighs> they're bolted in there now. So the jumbo is sitting up there and the box with all the jumbo stuff and a couple of snakes. And the audio amps that I must get around to doing some one of the days. And uh, just a bit of storage of oddball stuff up there. I replaced the, the black plastic that was missing up here. And some of you might have seen it on Instagram. Um, I made a couple of racks for the ladders. To get them up off the floor out of the way. Uh, while I was at it then, I kind of extended in from this one to the wall for storing lengths of stuff. Uh, aluminium and steel and whatnot. Even have a big block layers um, level up there. So I threw that wood up there. It's a bit stronger than what up there. And uh, yeah, so we got this organized. I said I wanted to have a little place here that I could uh, throw a couple of crates you know when I'm working out of them so um, it'll take a couple of crates no problem and uh, it's all framed out I'll just show you this the, the detail and stuff and I actually covered it to keep the dust out of it so that fits in there and that is well strong if it'll take all 17 stone of me sitting on it, uh, it'll take anything. So, that lives in there, out of the way. Now, I may end up moving the, the regulator here, I don't know yet. We'll see, we'll live with it for a while and see how it works out. But the four foot tube that was up there is now here. And it's all wired up, switched there. And uh, I threw in a couple of extra sockets while I was at it. I just tied into the other ones here and a bit of plumbing <laughs> with the with the conduit and a few conduit clips so nice and neat and uh, all very secure. So we're quite pleased with this. Trimmed it out in aluminium. Um, I couldn't go all the way back there for obvious reasons. Uh, uh, this speaker is all screwed down this one here so I wasn't going moving any of that and um, so I just stopped there you can see I had to notch out the the, the top to go around it so aluminium comes all the way around then I ran out of that didn't have any more of it but I had some of that so we kind of scarfed in a, a little piece to make it all work and um, what we're gonna do is we'll, we'll paint the underneath to this I have all the holes filled so uh, we'll paint that. I'll probably just do it with the brown. So there's pallet planks under this. And this is, uh, I had a packet of uh, laminate flooring up in the attic that I'd left over from a job. And uh, I put it here and I screwed it down because um, I didn't want it to warp or anything like that. Because you know, there's large fluctuations out here in temperature. So, oh man, stay at the place. So the mammoth job will probably happen in the morning of uh, tidying all this up. So there you go. We're getting there. Oh, yeah, it it's all going to be worth it. And the next job then is to paint it. But uh, I'm going to take the lazy way out this time and I'm going to paint around everything. I couldn't be arsed taking everything down and uh, I'm quite pleased with that shelf now it's all nice and neat 
and only up there what should be up there and cleaned it all down and the whole lot the way I have it done now with the bar and the redundant chains I reckon that'll take any weight you put on it so uh, yeah happy days oh man I just uh, well I don't even want to think about it so I'm quite pleased with this now and um, this can kind of double as a little work bench if I want to do something on its own I can just slide out the the detailing trolley and um, I can sit here and it's nice comfortable height even if you wanted to stand here it's it's up to my waist so uh, yeah cool happy days so a bit of radio work tomorrow I think make a start on uh, Mr Ian's Mark 1 and uh, yeah good few views on that quite pleased with that lads and um, Nice to see that you're still interested in the radio stuff. I hadn't done anything like that in a long time. So uh, we might do a bit more of it. I might get that thing finished up there. And uh, yeah, there you go. So catch you in the next one, lads. All the best.